we are going to tell you about fairly soon, and I think Brent and Jamie will probably tell you about it at the fireside chat on Sunday, is that we're going to be naming these Birmingham boys, and we're going to give them some official names, and then we won't, you know, refer to them as one, two, three, and four. Obviously, as we've always said, uh, it makes no difference to Birmingham boy one, two, three, or four, whether they're called George, Philip, um, Noble Ghazi, or um, Brian, for that matter. But uh, for us, I think it would be quite nice to give them names, and certainly, I think what's kind of inspired it is the fact that those names or the, the names that those chaps had in the Mara, those four male lions, uh, they had lovely names, and so I think it's time we gave our well-established Birmingham boys some names by which we and everyone else in the world can, um, can, can appreciate them, if you like. And the interesting thing about it is, now I come from a school of thought where it's a very science-based sort of uh, background where we don't talk about naming animals, we call them uh, um, male one and male two and male three and male four and certainly that's what the scientists say and the scientists say oh well, you shouldn't be naming them because well you know it's it's not very scientific and, and it kind of cheapens them and makes them less wild and I have come around completely to the school of thought that says that that's rubbish and what galvanized it for me of course was the saga and terrible sad story of Cecil the lion about which many of you know and the big thing about Cecil of course was that if Cecil hadn't had a name well he wouldn't have been nearly as popular he wouldn't have his his um, fate would not have captured the imagination of the world like it did and in so doing lion conservation would have been done a great disservice and so we are now of the firm opinion that our lions should have names and we should give them characteristics and the anthropomorphization uh, which is a lovely big word for this time of the morning which is basically attributing human characteristics to animals which may or may not be true but by doing that it provides us with a connection to these animals that we wouldn't have otherwise and so I think at the fireside chat on Sunday or so somewhere on then um, there will be a well, not naming ceremony, but we'll give them official names that we can know them by.